for review, lesson number five, it's on exponents. So things we need to remember about exponents. The word square, if I tell you that it's two squared, or in this case, three squared, think of a square, and this is saying three times three. It's telling you that your side lengths of it are three squared. So it's written as three times three, or three to the second power, three squared, that means squared, or in expanded form, three times three. So exponent form is gonna have your exponent or your power, and expanded form is where you would write it out. So we standard form would be your final number, like just a number. But in this case, this is expanded because I'm taking it and making it bigger. Where a cube, a square only has two sides. A cube, if you think of a cube, it has three. So if this was four cubed, that means that I have four, four, and four. Length, a width, and a height. So exponent form is gonna have my exponent. Expanded form means we've written it out. You have a calculator key that will do any power, and it looks like this, okay? So this is a power um, button on your calculator. And so it would be like, this would be like six to the fourth power. This right here is how you get that exponent. All right, so this whole thing is called a power. And any power, you can break it down to our base number. So the big one, the one that's written large, is our base number. And our little one here, so in this case, that would be our exponent. And these are all vocabulary words because a base number we need to know because we use it um, in a lesson later. And your exponent is, you need to know, you've learned it as just a power, this is to the power of, but this whole thing equals the, this, sorry, this whole um, expression equals the power. And within that power, there is a base number and then the exponent. All right, so let's say they gave us and in exponent form, they gave us 5 to the 4th power, so it's written with an exponent. If we expanded that, that means that we're going to take our base number, so in this case it's 5, and we need to times it, we need a total of 4 of them. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4. That's expanded form, where I've just really taken it and written it out. And now, if I want it to show it in standard form, you could put it in your calculator as 5 to the 4th power, or you could type out in your calculator, 5 times 4 times, or sorry, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, and you would get your um, standard form or just your final answer. And in this case, your final answer would be 625. Now, on this one, they've given us our expanded form. So they're telling us whatever number was repeated, that's our base number. So that's the number that goes here. The number of times it's repeated, that's my exponent. So it was repeated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this would say we had a one five times. And no matter what, one times one, however many times we multiply, it's just gonna give me one. Exponent form, because it has my exponent. Expanded form means I take it and stretch it out. So I have a six as my base number and I need it three times. Two, three. Expanded form, you can put it in your calculator as six times six times six, or you could do six raised to the power of three. Either way, you'll get 200. 16. And our last one, we can see they've given us the expanded form, so they've written it out. 3 must have been my base number because that's the number that was repeated, and it was repeated 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So 3 to the 4th power, so 3 times, you can put it in your calculator as 3 to the 4th power, or 3 times 3 times 3. Either way, you'll get out 81.